A public affairs analyst has commented the move by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, to consider all the reports that are ready from the judicial panels on the NSAS protest set up to address the concerns of Nigerians and police brutality, allegations and other related issues. Jacinto Buku has more. The judicial panels were recommended after the adoption of a resolution by the National Economic Council to address nationwide complaints of police brutality after the president dissolved the police SAS unit. At the council's 117th meeting held virtually, Oshiba Joe said the council would also consider the implementation of the reports, including remedies, redress, and compensations. And this has received a commendation from a public analyst Nick Aguli. It is also a step in the right direction for the vice president to convene a meeting to look into this report. So it shows that this is not the usual way of setting up panels and the reports. We never hear about the reports or when the reports are released they are not uh, implemented. He also spoke on the reforms that are expected to be seen in the Nigerian police force. They should be empowered on different fronts. First and foremost, their training as a police organization, they need ongoing training of their personnel in their duties of law enforcement. And law enforcement is better if it is preventative. So prevent crime from taking place and not chasing after crime. So there is that training aspect of the police to see their duty as people who prevent crime. So there should be a lot put into crime prevention more than crime fighting. Meanwhile, the vice president also inaugurated a National Road Safety Advisory Council as a demonstration of the government's continued commitment to addressing the challenges of road safety in the country. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.